All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video today. So I've had an absolute ton of questions about this Eric Estrada hat right here. Eric is, uh, he's a marine artist out of Miami, Florida, and uh, I've liked him for a very, very long time. He's got a really neat style to his art. And uh, this hat, I, I gotta say, I don't think he, I don't think he makes it anymore, unfortunately. Um, but good news is, is we actually did a collaboration on a merch drop for my channel. So if you guys can see here, I am wearing it. Um, I had merch last summer, it kind of fell through, so there's only about a dozen of those shirts floating around, so if you, if you do have one, thank you. But uh, these shirts are going to be the real deal this time. Um, you guys can grab them in the top link of the description, I'll show it off here. Uh, but we got the JM logo, and right next to it we got his uh, Fender Point logo, which is his like apparel brand uh, for his art. But I'll go ahead and show you guys the back here. The back is super sick, it's got a mullet, a dripping mullet on the back. And if you guys know anything about my channel, I love throwing live mullet and really all of my giant fish have have really been uh, due to live mullet. They're one of my favorite things to fish with, and uh, I think it just symbolizes the channel really well. So I'll show you guys the back here. I guess I kind of got to take my shirt off. Hold up. All right, so that right there. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well, and uh, you don't see me shirtless. But that is the mullet. It is awesome. I absolutely love the artwork. And uh, so I'll have a link in the top of the description where you guys can check it out. Um, if you guys go ahead and do grab a shirt, thanks a lot in advance. All profit from like sponsorships and stuff like that basically goes directly back into the channel um, one way or another. So thank you guys. And then uh, let me put this back on. All right, so back in our clothes right now. Um, so once again, thank you guys if you do go ahead and grab one. Really, thank you. It, it uh, means an absolute ton to me. And uh, really everything I make off uh, really this channel in general just goes back into the channel and making more videos for you guys um, So thank you guys a lot, but we're gonna be throwing some live shrimp today We're just gonna have have a fun day and uh, hopefully we'll get some mangrove some big sheep's head We got ice in the cooler and uh, I'll show you guys that here in a second, but enjoy the video guys All right, so we are fishing live shrimp today, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently We're gonna fish these little quarter ounce pink Wahoo jig, or not Wahoo jigs, <laughs> yellowtail jigs. Um, and these are really good for fishing live shrimp and catching mangroves and it'll work for redfish and snook and black drum and sheep's head. Really good for sheep's head especially. Um, we'll rig this guy up, drop a little live shrimp around some of these docks and see what we can pull up. Oh. <laughs> wow. First cast, first cast. I don't know if that's, uh, I think that's bad luck, but first cast, we got a mangrove, not quite the size. A lot of times when you're fishing uh, for mangroves and stuff like that, you'll have to pick through some small ones. A lot of times the common size is, is about this, which is probably eight, nine inches, but they gotta be 10 inches to keep. So we'll probably uh, catch a couple of these today. Hopefully we'll find a big one as well, but I'm surprised that was, he ate that before it even hit the, hit the bottom. A little bit windy. Hopefully the jig head will be heavy enough to get down there. Oh, getting picked up again. There's one. Oh, a little bit better. A little bit better, not quite the size, but a little bit better. Jig right in the top of the lip there. That's two fish in a row. That's a good, uh, oof, that was close. Good spot to hook a fish, top of the lip. Oh, there we go. This isn't the snook I just saw, but it is a different species in a... Oh, you almost got into the trolling motor. Good sized fish. Get in here, bud. All right, guys, so we got our first fish of the day. Our first decent fish of the day. This is about, uh, he's about an 18 inch black drum, so he is gonna be coming home with us. Um, very good eating when they're this small. Got him right under the dock right behind me. I bet there's a ton more, so we're gonna go ahead and grab another live shrimp and uh, drop him down there, but good eating fish. This guy will be very good fried. And I, I don't keep a lot of fish, but uh, every now and then I will decide to keep a couple, but good eating fish. We'll put them on ice here and uh, 
Let's go. All right, first fish of the day is on ice. Let's catch some mangrove snapper or sheep's head now. There we go. First mangrove since like early morning. It's kind of weird. I was expecting them to be all, all over every single dock and they're not, but. Well, he is 11 inches. He is considered keeper, but we're gonna hold off and we'll try to catch a bigger one. I don't know, I feel like 11 inches is just a little bit too small, even though keeper size is 10. 12 and up, I'll probably keep for a uh, mangrove snapper. If I can get into some more here, they're kind of hard to find. I'm going to 100% use this ladyfish for a big snook. We gotta put him in the live well though. Hopefully he'll stay alive in the live well. All right, so I'm gonna rig up the heavy rod here and I'm gonna take that little ladyfish we just caught and drop him around a dock where I saw some big snook. Yo, is that a ladyfish? Yeah. Are you gonna use him? No, no? can I take him? Yeah. All right, thank you. I've been trying to catch one for a minute here. I just had a giant snook eat the one ladyfish I had yeah. and I missed him. And I've been trying and trying and trying and you can't get the ladyfish. You can just toss him in the boat. Just drop him right there. Thank you so much. There's a bunch right off the corner of that dock. Yeah. I was throwing, I have a little green back, and that's like my third or fourth one that I caught. All right, cool. I think there's like a cloud of big snook in front of me. Oh, big snook just ate it. Lockdown drag. All right, we're in open water. Just don't go under my boat. Exactly what he's gonna do. <laughs> Raced right under the boat there. Dead center in the middle of the boat. I went to go around the motor. Got pinned up against the side and he got the hook out of his mouth. <sighs> that was a 40 inch snook engulfed a 14 inch ladyfish. Oh man, that is incredibly tilting. After getting him out of the freaking dock, lockdown drag pulled him out. He pulls out in the open. All right, so managed to grab another ladyfish to use for bait. It's kind of, well, it's super hard to get them. You have to cast and cast and cast and cast to find one. But I thought I did everything perfect up until I got that fish into open water and I just made a odd mistake. I, I don't know, I, I made a mistake. When that fish went under the boat, I should have at least opened the bale or I should have been quicker to getting around one of my engines. I should not have been pinned up against the gunwale there in a super awkward way, but. Either way, I still don't think the hook should have came out of his mouth. He just maybe got lucky. 
which sucks, but we got another bait here. Hopefully we'll get another fish. See myself a sheep's head. Got him. Oh. Looks good size. He went straight to it. Getting the boots. Now they gotta be 12 inches, so we'll we'll see here. I think he's gonna be close to 12. Uh, zero. He's a. Uh, he's 13. We'll take him home. How about that? All right. In there with our black drum. Got two fish in the cooler. <sighs> gonna keep looking for fish with live shrimp and. Keep, uh, where's my, keep an eye out for giant snook. I see three big snook over here. Let's see if they like a, like the ladyfish. Floating right underneath this dock. Yep, ate it immediately. <laughs> the smallest one of the three eight. <laughs> Holy crap. The, <laughs> the smallest snook of the three eight immediately the second that lady fish hit the water. That's a good hook set right there. your ass. Whew. That's a good fish right there. Ugh. All right, so final fish of the day right there. Unfortunately, he's not 40 inches or anything like the heartbreaker from earlier, but it's a good fish. He'll probably go 30. I'm going to go ahead and get a quick release on this guy because that was kind of an odd fight, but good fish either way. And uh, this is going to be the last fish of the day. So go ahead and release this guy and then we'll uh, hit the outro. All right, he was a double hook there. That's awesome. There she goes. Oh my gosh, what a freaking day, dude. What a day. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and call the video there. That was an absolute, that was a hard working day right there. Got up at 5 a.m. Got out here, got the live shrimp, got out on the water by 6.30 or something like that, 7. And uh, all I can think about is that 40 inch snook that I lost. And that's all I'll be thinking about for like the next week. Tough one, but you know, we move on. I will absolutely think about that fish for the next couple weeks. Cause God, it's just, sometimes you get mad or I get mad because I know how much effort I put into fishing, how much time, money, and how much literally just effort I put into getting those fish. And then when it gets, you know, you get everything right, the stars align, and then you lose that fish right there. Um, it sucks, but either way, check out the new merch, guys. I'd really appreciate it if you don't even have to buy it. Just go check it out. Check out Eric's website as well. He's got some cool stuff. And that's all I got to say for today, guys. I will see you guys in the next video.